Good morning, everyone, especially the Baptist guests. Welcome, everyone in here and everyone on looking, watching us on YouTube. I'll go over to Jill. Thank you. It is good to be here. Uh, just a few practical arrangements, if I may, before we start the service proper. Um, if you haven't already found them, the toilets are through the Oasis Lounge and through the double doors, or you can nip that way if you uh, so require. There is children's activities in the little bags for, for those old enough to do colouring. Pat, can you keep that door open? It's ever so warm in here. <laughs> keep, keep the doors open. Keep the doors open. Yeah. Uh, so, um, but let me reassure parents who get a bit, a bit anxious about this in churches sometimes. I have got a microphone, right? And they can turn me up volume-wise. Yeah? So, please... Don't worry. The more you worry, the more likely it is that your child will pick up on your worry and go... <laughs> yeah. However, at the back, if you haven't already found it, there's a small children's area. Uh, and if you are really worried, in the Oasis Lounge uh, next, there's another children's area. Children are welcome to wander around, do what children do. This is what we are about. So welcome. We're going to start our service now. Sorry, my name's Jill, by the way. And we are celebrating Nola's baptism. We're going to stand as we're able to sing the hymn Amazing Grace. Just for those of you who are visitors, please don't worry as I, I wave my arms around. Um, I try and sign the hymns in Makaton. Some of you might have done baby signing, so it's a very similar. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me.
Please sit down. So we come before God in prayer. Loving God, we give you thanks and praise for this beautiful morning. We give you thanks and praise that we're able to come here and worship you. We give you thanks and praise for the gift of new life, new hope. And especially we give you thanks for Nola and her parents and all here. We thank you, loving God, that you love us. We respond to that love, but you loved us first. You knew us before we were formed in our mother's womb. You knew us and loved us, and you care for us. And sometimes our head can't get round the enormity of that love, the love that went all the way to the cross for us and died as Jesus died on the cross. But being your son, you raised him from the dead, and we celebrate and give thanks for resurrection, transformation, and new life. But we know, we know, Lord, that sometimes we do wrong. We sin. We fall short of the mark that you have set us. Sometimes we can be grumpy. Sometimes we can speak out of turn a cruel word or action. And sometimes we miss the chance to do good, to say the good things. And for those times when we've hurt others, and in hurting others, hurt ourselves, and most of all you, we say we're sorry. We worship a wonderful God, who if we are truly sorry, does indeed forgive our sins and allow us to start afresh. So let's hear those amazing words of love. Our sins are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Amen. The reading is taken from Mark chapter 10, verses 13 to 16. People were bringing little children to him in order that he might touch them, and the disciples spoke sternly to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly, I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. And he took them upon him in his arms, laid his hands on them, and bless them. Thank you, Amanda. Who's spotted the deliberate mistake? Anybody? Anybody notice? Yes, go on. Go on, Jordan. Old Testament reading, and it was a gospel reading. Yes, yes. But it's a wonderful reading nevertheless, because it tells of Jesus welcoming everyone. Now, in Jesus' day, uh, children weren't given the sort of status that we would have today. And the disciples just went, no, don't bother him, don't bother him, go away, go away. But Jesus said, no, children are important and we must welcome them. So that is a lovely, lovely reading. We're going to sing a song uh, now, a hymn, and you're probably thinking, Oh, I don't know that one. Wonder of wonders, but I'm sure you will know the tune. The tune is Bunnison, uh, which is Morning Has Broken. Bunnison's a little village um, on the island of Mull, and this tune is named after them. So you see, you've learned something today. Wonder of wonders, life is beginning. <coughs>
Please sit down. Now, I brought a friend with me today. <clears throat> sometimes he can be a bit naughty. Sometimes he can be a bit shy. I never quite know what he's going to be like. Scruffy. Hello, Scruffy. Yeah, there are a lot of people here. What's the matter? What's the matter? You're confused. Well, that's not quite often the case. What are you confused about? Oh, you're confused about what I'm wearing. Do you, to, do you want to stroke Scruffy? No, you, you can't hold him. There's some there. <laughs> confused about what I'm wearing. Oh. Well, why are you confused about what I'm wearing? Because there's no communion on the table. So why am I wearing my cassock? Yeah? And my stole? Well, because I wear this when it's communion yeah, and when it's a baptism because it's a sacrament. Both are sacraments. What, 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 what have we got in there? What have we got in there? You, well, hang on a minute. You've got some polo. Why? Because they're sacred mints. Um, no, no, sacrament, not sacred mints. I know they've got a hole in that, so holy mints, yeah. But no, that, that sacrament means sa a sacred moment. Well, no, you can't eat your holy mints during a sacred moment. No, no, no. What you... What you... No. What, what a sacred moment is... Do you want to give him a stroke again? Come on, then. Give him a stroke. Say hello. Hello. What's your name? What's your name? No. A sacred moment is something really special. So baptism, yeah. I tell you what, shall I explain a little bit about baptism? Let's put your mints in there for later, shall we? Okay. You, you want to know what happens. Okay. So what happens is we're going to dedicate Nola to God. And we're going to put some water on her head. Yeah, I, I think she won't mind. No, I know. I, I hope she won't mind. No. Um, so what's my favourite bit? Mm, now that's difficult. I like the bit where I put the sign of the cross onto Nola's head. But my favourite bit, I think, I'm going to have to put you down. I'm going to have to read a story. You like stories, okay. I'm going to put you down and you can listen to the story back here while I explain what my favourite part is. And it's a story, Scruffy, that I know you like. And some of you may know it. Anybody recognise this? Guess how much I love you. Yes? Yes. Anybody read this to their little ones? Yeah? Yes. Guess how much I lovely, love you. And for those of you who are not familiar with it, it's a story of big nut brown hair and little nut brown hair. And little nut brown hair says to big nut brown hair, guess how much I love you. I love you this much. It's only got little arms. 
and big nut brown hair says, but I love you this much, this much. And little nut brown hair says, oh, he's got big arms. That's an awful lot of love, that is. And they do all sorts of things through the, yeah, there he is, stretching out his big arms. Um, I love you as high as I can reach. I love you all the way up to my toes, all this sort of thing. And each time, big nut brown hair says, but I love you this much. And right at the end of the story, right at the end of the story, little nut brown hair says, I love you right up to the moon. Oh, that's far, says big nut brown hair. That's very, very far. And as he settles him in and kisses him goodnight, big nut brown hair, lost me. Big nut brown hair says to little nut brown hair, I love you right up to the moon and back. Right up to the moon and back. And to me, that is a story of God's love too. We love because God first loved us. God is like the very best parent. Now, I know Vicky and Jed love Nola so, so much to the moon and back. But God, through Jesus, knew us before we were born, knew us and loved us, and said, you are worth it. Jesus we was asked, how much do I love you? He stretched out his arms on the cross and I said, I love you this much that I'm prepared to die for you. And there's this part in the service where I say, for you, Nola, Jesus lived. For you, he died. For you, he rose again. All this for you before you could know anything about it. And that's the amazing part, that God loves us as the very, very best parent before we know anything about it, before we say yes to God, before we respond to God's love and grace. God loves us with a perfect love, like the very, very best parent. And that is why when we come to the baptism and you present your baby to be baptized. I ask the name, which I already know. I ask the name anyway, I have to. And then I put some water on, I bless her. And then after that, after that, you say the promises. Because just as God's love is not dependent upon what we do or say, So me baptizing Nola is not dependent on your promises. I know you will make them. I hope you will make them, yes. (laughs) Do you see what I mean? God's love is amazing. Further than to the moon and back. Further than the best parent. Would you like to take this and have a read of it with mummy? Would you? Oh, you've lost your dragon. Never mind. Never mind. It's very, very special, is God's love. We're going to take our offering for the work of this church and circuit now.
hearts, that's good too. We stand when we bring forward the offering, not I hope because we're worshipping money, but rather that we're bringing ourselves as well. So loving God, bless these gifts and those who give them. Bless also the gifts that are given faithfully through bank accounts and through time and talents in this place for your kingdom's sake. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to sing again uh, our baptismal hymn on this baptism day. And again, oh, no, well, we're not. We're going to have... I do beg your pardon. I nearly cut Karen. Please sit down. I nearly cut Karen's... Yeah, come, on, come up here, Karen. Yeah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray that the church may proclaim with joy the message of hope for the whole world. May our lives, as well as our worship, testify to the truth of the resurrection, broaden our vision of what is possible through new life in you. Father, we pray for the world for those who lead and make important decisions. Guide them to do so with integrity and compassion. We pray for mercy and justice, particularly praying for those without a voice to be heard when injustice strikes. We remember those who live under the cloud of war. For Israel and Gaza, for the Ukraine, the Middle East, and all countries where there is unrest. Heavenly Father, we pray for all new life, for babies just born and those about to be born. May they all be born into a world of acceptance and love. And we remember all parents, those who are new to the role and those who are familiar with parenting. And adding into that, remembering those who foster, those parents who care for children which are not their own. Heavenly Father, we also bring to you those that support the parents, for friends, families, teachers, schools, social services, and the whole community. We pray for those who have been newly baptised this season and those who are about to be baptised. We particularly remember today Nola and her family on her baptism. Give them all a deeper faith and commitment as we support them on their journey. Father, we pray for those who are unwell, in pain or anguish, through sickness or sorrow. When troubles make it difficult for them to rejoice in your resurrection, bring them healing and help those with the resources to help them to heal and use it wisely. Give us the grace to carry one another's burdens and to support each other at times of need. And we pray for those who grieve, whether it is a new grief or an old wound reopened. We particularly pray for the families as they prepare for funerals in the coming weeks. Father, bring comfort to those who suffer. Wrap your gentle arms around them and bring them peace. Lord God, we thank you for the precious gift of new life. May we never again take it for granted, but live each moment in the fullness of life 
that Jesus gained for us. Heavenly Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Karen. It's been a deep joy uh, for me three, no, three, three and a half years ago to marry Karen and Darren and then a year later to marry Vicky and Jed, and now to baptise Noah. It's just wonderful. We're going to stand and sing on this baptism day, God we thank you, and it's to the tune of Sing Hosanna. Please sit down for a moment. I'm going to ask Karen and Zoe to come up, please, for the declaration. Sisters and brothers, Baptism is a gift of God. It declares to each of us the love and grace of God. In this sacrament, we celebrate the life of Christ laid down for us, the Holy Spirit poured out for us, and the living water offered to us. God claims and cleanses us, rescues us from sin, and raises us into new life. He plants us into the Church of Christ and sustains and strengthens us with the power of the Spirit. Although we do not deserve these gifts of grace 
or fully understand them, God offers them to all and through Christ invites us to respond. We recall the words that Jesus Christ said to his friends. I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make dis disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am always with you, even to the end of age. On the day of Pentecost, Peter preached the gospel of Christ's resurrection. Those who heard the message asked what they should do. And Peter told them, All of you must turn to God and change the way you think and act. And each of you must ba be baptised in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins will be forgiven. Then you will receive the Holy Spirit as a gift. This promise belongs to you and to your children and to everyone who is far away. It belongs to everyone who worships the Lord our God. So I'm going to ask... Jed and Vicky and the godparents to come and stand with me over here, please. If you go to the far side, that's it, lovely. Yeah, if you, you come up here, let's, otherwise it gets a bit crowded. Yeah, I need, I need to be, yeah. Um, okay. I'm hoping it's still warm, reasonably, reasonably. Oh, I forgot to say, if there's any little people who can't see and who want to come to the seats at the front, please do so. Because it's really frustrating if you're small and you can't see over people's heads what's going on. Gracious God, we thank you for your gifts of water and the Holy Spirit, for your sustaining, cleansing and life-giving power. From the beginning, your grace has been made known through water and the Spirit. Your spirit moved over the waters at creation and you led your people to freedom through a parted sea. In the fullness of time you sent Jesus. He was baptized in the waters of Jordan and anointed with the Holy Spirit. He passed through the deep waters of death and lives forevermore. He offers us living water and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Pour out your Holy Spirit that the one baptized in this water may die to sin, be raised with Christ and be born to new life in the family of your church. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I'm going to ask all of you now to stand, please, so that you're not on your own. <laughs> and to parents and godparents, and the response is, by the grace of God, I do. Do you turn away from evil and all that denies God? Do you turn to God trusting in Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour and in the Holy Spirit as helper and guide? By the grace of God, I do. Now to everyone, we're going to say together. We believe in God the Father who made the world. We believe in Jesus Christ, his Son, who redeemed humankind. We believe in the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God. Now, I'm going to ask you, if you wouldn't mind, to hold that for me, because I can't hold both. <laughs> Come a bit closer. Come a bit closer. Okay. So, what name have you given to your child? Nola Elizabeth. Okay. Right. Come on, Nola Elizabeth. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Very good. Oops. Hang on a minute. Now, this is where sometimes either my glasses go or the 
Baby. Something else does. No, the baby won't go. The baby won't go. <laughs> Nola Elizabeth, for you, Jesus Christ came into the world. For you, he lived and showed God's love. For you, he suffered death on the cross. For you, he triumphed over death, rising to newness of life. For you, he prays at God's right hand, all this for you, before you could know anything about it. In your baptism, the words of scripture are fulfilled. We love because God loves us. So, Nola, Elizabeth, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. By baptism, God has received you into the church. Nola, Elizabeth, I sign you with a sign of cross, oh, because you now belong to Christ. Can the people please sit? And I'm going to, before I, I, I risk too much, I'm going to give you back to mummy, if that's all right. And Rose, if you can come up at this point. There we go. Me, you can go only a little bit soggy, love. Right. Now, Rose is going to have to just get behind you. That's it. <laughs> and I'm going to move up here. And give it to Jed, who's not holding the baby. <laughs> okay, okay. Nola, receive this light, for you belong to Christ, the light of the world. Christ is your life and your way. And we all say, may we, you grow and live in the faith of Christ. Amen. I've got to get this back on, sorry. It's all very well taking it off. There we are. Right, now, those, are, you might want to put the candle out in, 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 yeah, uh, in a minute. I want, I want Ricky to, to show, go around the church and show, go, go down the middle and all the way around, whichever way you want to do it, so everybody gets a good look at this gorgeous baby. And we're going to say, as she comes round, the Lord bless you and keep you, the Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift upon you with kindness and give you peace. Amen. While, while, while she's doing that, I need to get some things. Okay, isn't she gorgeous? She is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and I think, I think you'll be, have a chance afterwards to be introduced properly to her. Yay, yay, yeah. And she hasn't minded me wetting her head. <laughs> oh, there's Mark. There's Mark at the organ. That's it. Yeah, she loves the attention. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, way, way. Give her, give her a big clap and a cheer. Yay. Come, come back up here. Jed and Vicky, I now ask you now to respond to God's love and grace to Nola by making these promises. Will you love Nola, committing yourselves to care for her in body, mind, and spirit? Will you therefore ensure that she is nurtured in the faith and life of the Christian community? With God's help, we will. Will you set before her a Christian example that through your prayers, words and deeds, she may learn the way of Christ? With God's help, we will. Now, now I, I'm bound to get this the wrong way round. <laughs> Edward... Sam, Alice, and Amber. Will you help 
Vicky and Jed to nurture Nola in the Christian faith. And you say, with God's help, we will. Now, members of the body of Christ, we rejoice that Nola, our sister, has been baptised. Will you so maintain the church's life of worship and service that she may go in grace and in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord? So, get this in the right order. That's her certificate of baptism. And... That's a little present from the church. Have you got any hands left? You're yeah, all right. Just about. just about. Edward, thank you. That's for you. And you must be Sam. Okay, but it's right, you see. <laughs> Alice, yes, that's for you. And you must be Amber. Thank you. And we're going to say together, Generous God, touch us again with the fire of your spirit and renew in us all the grace of your baptism, that we may profess the one true faith and live in love and unity with all who are baptised into Christ. Amen. So you can go and sit down now. Yay, yes, give me a clap. Now I'm going to ask the stewards before the singing of the last hymn uh, to come and give out some shakers. Anybody who wants a shaker, um, a tambourine, uh, or clap. This last, this last song, we sing it through three times and we get a bit faster each time we do it. Yeah? So... Tambourines, whoops, there's some age appropriate ones as well. So each time we sing it, we go a little bit faster. It's based on a psalm. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then right at the end, I normally go, oi. Now, I look a bit daft if I'm doing it on my own. You're probably saying you look a bit daft anyway, but hey, don't be rude. So, I invite you to join me with this celebration. Put your hand up if you want to shake her. We're going to make a joyful noise to God. I always...
Thank you. So, our worship has ended. Our service begins. Let us go in peace to love and serve our Lord and our neighbours. And may the blessing of God, creator, redeemer and sustainer, be with you and all those you love on earth and in heaven, now and always. Amen. <laughs>